It is heating up across the tropics. We have Hurricane Danielle, Tropical Storm Earl now. The fifth tropical storm of the season has formed and a very strong tropical wave that's moved off the coast of Africa. Here's a close-up look at them. Earl, I should say, Danielle hasn't changed much during the afternoon, although there has been a turn toward the northwest. Good news for us. There's a look at Earl getting better organized, and that wave coming off the coast does have some potential to develop into its own storm by later this week. The computer models are generating a storm coming off the coast by Friday. Friday and Saturday. A look at Danielle during the afternoon. Still a little bit of shear into this. Uh, it's still struggling a little. The winds are at 85 miles an hour. Here are the latest coordinates in the forecast track moving northwest now at 17. That is very, very good news for Florida to see that northwest turn. It was predicted today. It's happening. Good for us. And the uh, continued track in toward Bermuda on uh, Friday and Saturday. It looks like the closest approach to Bermuda would be on Saturday as a Category 1 or 2 hurricane, and then moving up into the North Atlantic. It still may have some impact on Atlantic Canada and uh, swells working in toward the coastline. Not only the swells from this, but the swells from our second storm. This is Earl, just upgraded from the Hurricane Center in the last few minutes. Winds at 40, moving west at 16. And unfortunately, the five-day forecast track for this stays a little farther west than that turn toward the north and takes it very, very close to the Leeward Islands on Monday, uh, Monday at 2 p.m. with winds at 90 miles an hour. So this is definitely one we'll have to watch. Why doesn't it turn north? Well, here's the pattern in the atmosphere the next few days. There's a big weakness out here in the Atlantic, very unusual for this time of year, but it's there. And it looks like Danielle takes that track and takes a turn toward the north. North. But it, the high fills in as the storm passes and our second storm may not get a chance to turn and follow in behind that.